Hi, I'd just like to show you some TPIC 6B595 it's I bought off eBay from a Chinese seller. Um, it advertises new, but obviously they, they're not. Some have been used and some don't work. So I got 20. Um, as you can see here, come in this package like that. These I've tested, these are all good. I've got five here that don't work. And a sixth one, which does work, but the pins have been cut too short. So if you can see that camera, um, pins have been cut too short, so it's clearly been chopped out of a board. It does work, but the pins aren't long enough to go through a PCB now, so it's pretty much useless. So, but the rest of them do work. These are just dead. These are the five. I've done the alcohol test, scrub it with a cotton swab, so it's an alcohol. The lettering doesn't come away, so I think they are actually genuine chips, they're just faulty. So what I've got here is a little test circuit, uh, which just counts up to, up to nine, just to prove that they work. Uh, this is just a video really to show people not to fall to the same trap. And make sure you test all your chips before you put them into a project, if you're buying from Chinese seller. Now, I mean, these cost me about, I think it was about £4 for 20 which you can't complain at that price. I did buy 40 of them from the same seller before, and there were only one 41 in 40, but out of about 20, I've got six that are useless. So let's just see what's wrong with them. I'll put that to one side. Uh, this is a working one. Now, the first check you can do without having to put it in a circuit. I'll just show you the first uh, checks you can do. First of all, you want to check between pin, what's that, twin, uh, between pin nine and 18. And you should get 15 mega ohms. You should also get between them two, about 12 mega ohms. That's on a working chip. Between two and 19, 12 mega ohms. And you should also get a connection from 18 to 10, which is about 400 ohms. So that's your logic ground, and that's your uh, output ground. So yeah, once again, between ground and five volts. 12 mega ohms and between the two grounds oops I said the wrong pin 400 ohms and you should get between these two pins which is 18 and 19 about 4 to 5 mega ohms that's on a good chip now all of these are exactly the same, so I just want to show you. Um, between those two, go up and circuit. And there's open circuit, this looks like it's got an open circuit ground, open circuit ground pin. And all these are exactly the same. Just to show you what to look for. So you can quickly test these chips if you decide to buy any chips from. China, just make sure you test them in this way first. If I solder them into a circuit, then find if they don't work. So you can quickly check them with a meter. As you can see, these are all exactly the same. So, not much too much detail, but I just want to make sure that's the working one. So, put that back in there. Yeah, that still works. Now, if we look at the markings on these chips, they are all different. That's Date code 268DX. Um, yeah, that's getting it going. Good focus. Uh, that one is. So that one did 48CF, but that one did. The text on that one has rubber wear when I put the um, alcohol on it. That one, that's 48C. 48 CD something. So these all do what I genuine like I say they do what I genuine chips are just faulty. But I just want to do a little test. 
just to see if these actually die in these. Uh, one moment. All right, so I've got the pliers. What I'm going to do is cut, cut one of these open. Now there is something in there. It's not just a blank piece of plastic. Yeah, there's a silicon dye in there. Hmm. So they're not just uh, fake chips. That proves they are genuine. Uh, so, are they actually real chips? They're just remarked. That's a question. Let's see if we do actually get re resistance readings on any of these pins. Absolutely nothing. Oops. Stay still. Well, I'm pretty sure these are actually the really real genuine chips, but they are just uh, faulty. So yeah, yeah. To summarise, um, yeah, just watch out for this before you um, use these chips. If you're buying from eBay sellers, just make sure that you test them with a voltmeter, with a ohm meter, sorry. Just to make sure before you put them in the circuit. There's nothing worse than soldering it in and then finding that they don't work. You spend days just trying to diagnose your circuit and find it's actually dodgy parts you've got. But yeah, um, that summarises this video up. Thanks for watching.